A very spooky greeting, little Rim Rims, and welcome to the adventures of Blue Head, and definitely not Anime Anne, atop the back of her chimera, because we have one of those now. In yesterday's episode, reality started unraveling as Anne sent people to space on the backs of animals. I'll be honest, I think it's going to be kind of hard to top that. So, I immediately have some weird vampire experiments to try and test today at the behest of everybody in the comments section who asked what happens if we regrow Buffy's eyes using her vampire healing ability and then blind her again. And I'll be honest, I have no idea, but we're going to try it. Before we do that, though, everybody else needs something to do. We've got a whole slave army and, well, there isn't anything to do. We don't have any of the regular remote plant growing or giant farms or even any crafting to do quite yet. So we're going to do what we do every series when we need a job for our people. We're going to throw down a giant quarry, have everybody generate staggering amounts of wealth, watch as the Empire send a cataract squad after us, and then have to reload. I mean, and we'll have a bad dream. Yeah, probably that one. Jokes aside, we don't really need to worry about that this time around because we have combat readiness check and we're only a medieval faction. The game will only send us what is fair for what we can actually deal with right now rather than how much gold we've got stashed in the stockpile. Uh, especially given that we haven't got any research for clothes yet. Not to mention Anne's our only fighter when she went down yesterday to a tribal raid, so I wouldn't be super confident building this quarry otherwise. And after taking apart two steel latrines and a spaceship, Anne was able to finally dig a hole. I assume the hundred steel is for the ladders? Either way, that's it. We don't get any more steel now until we've done a little bit more research to alloy metals. So I think I'm going to do a couple of things here. I think I'm going to say... Select research automatically, because right now we're in the medieval era, and to be honest, it doesn't really matter. And we also need to crack out all the medieval research before we move on to the next era anyway. And then I'm going to say quarry. Just everybody quarry. Oh, with the exception, I guess, of Regirios and Tortro, who will cry if I keep them on quarrying for too long. In that case, we'll make Regirios and Tortro researchers. Does this look wrong? What do the jobs look different? We'll take the ghouls off of some of the grunt work as well, and Anne as well. No, no, you don't haul. Leave the slaves to do all of that stuff. We could have the man in black who saved us, and Regirios, the Duke of the Empire, putting on performances around the clock to keep us entertained. We can turn them into court jesters. Oh, there has to be a mod on the workshop for room or court jesters somewhere. So we're going to take poor sweet Buffy. We're going to regenerate her eyes. In theory, I want to make sure she also doesn't run out of Vitae yet. Yeah, she's got enough to do it. And I assume from that she'll lose her blindsight powers, which she has, but she kept the Silent from the ritual. So we could take her up to Silent level 6 doing that. The downside is she has to be blinded twice. So, I mean, there is a risk to it. She could get a lethal infection and die immediately. 79% and cuts Buffy. We've got a 57% this time of satisfying. So it should end up a little bit better. Goodbye, little Buffy. Wait, she absorbed the damage? Is that going to have any side effect? I assume it just... Yeah, okay. It just guarantees the eyes will be removed. That's pretty good. And then I assume the end of the ritual is where she gets the Silent then? She's currently Silent level 4. She was Silent level 4 before. There we go. Silent level 5. Oh, that's so interesting. So I set Anne to... Now that we've got a good slave pool and ghoul pool, I thought, why not just have her drink blood from the humans rather than chasing down animals around the map all day. I was going to reform the ideal religion so that pain was idealized. Turns out there's already a, a bonus for being bitten by a vampire. And who wouldn't be more than happy to be chomped by Anne? That cat is wearing a fucking shield belt. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even know we had a mod that let cats wear shield belts. Unless it's one of those rare shield cat breeds. I guess the cat also isn't affected by arcane technology. We can't use shield belts and armor and weapons. Cat's got no problem with it. And now that the base feels a little more luxurious and something a bit more befitting of someone such as Anne Green, I think we'll spend the rest of the blocks on the external walls now. And I mean, look, we've got, we've got a slave army, right? We can always cut a few more. Yeah, there we go. I didn't want perfectly symmetrical straight lines because I thought it would look horrible. But in hindsight, it might have looked better the other way around. Well, let's see how it goes. Oh, my settlements. Maybe we'll also focus on building an actual military base for our empire as well. Even though we put the resilient trait as one of our starting ones, we will still lose loyalty and unhappiness, and eventually they might just end up defecting. And until we get a lot of research done, having silver is the only way we can potentially buy beds from traders and that type of thing. How much have we got right now? 8,000? <laughs> <laughs> We've been hoarding it like Scrooge McDuck while all of our settlements have been getting clapped left, right, and center. Let's make a... 
I, I guess a, a defending military base then. And we want to put that somewhere on the road so that they're capable of getting to places a lot sooner. Eventually, we'll be able to get research and a trait that will allow our settlements to build roads of their own. But until then, we need to use what we've got already. So I'm thinking just somewhere around here, uh, we could also have the base. I, I mean, it needs to be also semi-profitable. So say if we pick this one here, sure, we're going to turn it into a military base, but we could also have the monkey animals or wood to make a little bit more cash as well. Ah, uh, I guess we'll... I guess we'll throw it there. That way it's close to our current settlement, can defend them quite fast, but also capable of getting elsewhere if needs be. But I want to focus on defending this one in Starford, given that it's bringing in mad money, apparently. And now that we have this fancy sacrifice room... Poor sweet Buffy is done for. She needs a top of a Vitae. She's only got two left. And then after that... Oh, man. It's only one Vitae per bite. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, but Anne can also gain levels in Vampirism in doing that. Oh, nice. Uh, I Can she go into shock from doing this? Is there a downside to it? I would assume so, but we might as well test it now, I suppose, and find out decently early. Okay, she's fine. She's okay. And then she's going to feed on her and take all that blood back. That's incredible. Vitae and blood are obviously very separate. Vitae is what is used to power their abilities. Blood is what humans and animals will have that they have to feed on. So that was a, that was a pretty good trade. Let's regenerate these eyes then and put you in for round two. <laughs> oh, now they're upset. Hang on, why are you upset? Uh, Witness defeating vampire minus two. But she's happy that she was bitten. She witnessed it, but she's sad that it wasn't her. Ah, that's my head cannon now. Oh, nice, our settlement form midway through. Ah, oh, glad you could be here to witness this, Buffy. You won't witness much else, my friend. Development points change from five to six because we blinded someone. That's so good. And I guess this is also a perfect time to address this now. A lot of people are asking why I'm not using vampiric healing. And the simple answer to that is anybody who's played the vampire mod will know that it's very, very, very overpowered. Which is why I spent a lot of the time in this mod pack giving buffs to the Empire, making them more aggressive, and it's probably the reason why they've conquered half the planet. But I've also put in a lot of mods that help keep the vampires in check, because even though they're very, very powerful, the big side effect of that is that they're also really, really laggy, because they are so fast at building things and fast at moving. But they're already super overpowered, because they can resurrect if they are to die and they have some Vitae left, but they also can heal whenever they want. So to balance that a little bit, I've adjusted the blood costs of everything to make it so it's way more expensive. So that we can't just run Anne in into the middle of a bunch of cataracts, watch her die, resurrect her, let her feed on the people, heal any parts, etc, etc. So if we do use the vampiric healing to get rid of the blood, uh, or the, the bleeding I should say, you can see that cost her four blood points. So we can only use that once with any of the ghouls before... If we were to use it a second time, I believe they stop being a ghoul at that point. Because their Vitae will drop down below minimum. So they'll just turn into a regular person again. And can use it a few times though, because she has 20 Vitae. She can heal a few things. But I thought that was a nice way to balance it so that we just... Otherwise, we could make everybody a ghoul and essentially have an invincible army, right? Not to mention having a lot of darkness makes the vampires horribly, horribly overpowered. But it's also the only way to play the vampire mod without the game crashing every 30 seconds. So I think that's a fair trade. <laughs> now, somebody in the comment section said, so brace yourself for this one. If we put down a growing area, we can grow a mushroom that's bright enough to allow us to grow smoke leaf around it. So that way Buffy can shut up and stop complaining. I assume it's the bright bells, but it could be the gloom cap as well. So we'll put down a couple here and just test them out and see what light level they emit. Do you think it could be shimmer shroom or glow bulb? Oh, there's so many glowing mushrooms. Ah, oh, there you go. Speaking of people we can trade with to try and actually get some stuff to bolster us up, we've got a war merchant from our own settlement. They've bought a dragon. They just straight up bought a dragon. Well, I mean, I can see it's a wyvern, but uh, it's more a question of <laughs> how the hell they managed to get that. So if we can buy any early era weaponry, oh my god, we can actually buy the friggin' wyvern. We can just buy the wyvern. That's so good. I think I'll buy the medicine as well, if that's okay. Well, I've more or less sold them everything at this point, given that we can't use any of this crap. Damn you, arcane technology. I bought a clown mask for Rogerio so that we could have him dance and perform little numbers for Anne. Bear in mind, this guy is the, uh, is the praetor of the Exodus Imperium. Can't wear it because we don't have clown tactics technology. Clowns are known for being a staggeringly advanced people. I mean, how do they get the water in that tiny little flower? But, I mean, it wasn't all bad, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. No one is going to mess with Anne now. 
She rode a whiffin all of about 12 foot so she could build a wall. <laughs> I love the idea that one of the slaves wakes up and just goes to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Boom. Giant wyvern. Oh, no. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, we've let coagulation be attacked over and over and over again. Loyalty is now at three. I think we'll try and do something about that. This name did make me sigh, but it was also incredible. I'm going to call it Ansylvania. There you go, David Smoth. This one's for you. And then in the Ansylvania. Oh, look at this. Alchemist. So in Steel and to Gold, we'll find a way. Plus 10% research production minus 15% mining. Oh, very nice. Ancient Academy gives higher research, higher workers, but they cost more each. Apothecary, Bailiff, Brewer, Carpenter. Wow. Okay, there is a lot to see here. Militia. Yeah, that's what we're after. Ready to fight for their families, though not very effectively. Minus three to the max workers. Minus 40% unrest, plus one military level. Minus 20% combat efficiency. Ugh. Okay, so if we build that, that's really going to... Uh, impact how good they actually are. But if we also build the training yard to train them up as well, it's a, it's only minus 5%. And I don't think we can build anything else to give a bonus to military this early on. We'd have to get some better. I mean, I mean, we could just build the whole lot. Then when we actually unlock some better industrial era buildings that give a high military bonus, then we can just scrap the old ones, right? And of course, the second we start building up a militia elsewhere, they come and attack us instead. Hello. Oh, well, that's not nearly as bad as I thought. Where are you going? Oh, no, hang on. Look, there's two different groups of them. Okay, let's send Anne to deal with these three, and then we'll send Buffy and Von Helsing. You don't have a weapon? Mepro, give us the horn. Not in that way. Hang on, I have an idea. Buffy, get on the Wyvern. Von Helsing, get on the Chimera. And there are also traders here, so this is very much overkill. You are in for a bad day, Laro. Get him. Get him. Oh, it works. Oh, Von Helsing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought it would shoot a shot like an incendiary launcher. I didn't realize it was area of effect. Oh, damn it. Just a staggering amount of incompetence. Have we won? Well, yeah, the tray cam really dealt with that for us, didn't they? Good lord. Oh, are you okay, Von Helsing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> the Wyvern doesn't actually have any sort of special attack, but he does look very, very pleased to be here. Oh, more delicious thrombos. We could try and tame them because they'd also make for incredible mounts, but they've got to compete with a fire-breathing monster, and a wyvern at this point. Oh, I'm sorry, Thrombos. I have to. We, we, we haven't got any of the weapons we can use besides animal horns right now. What if we just suicide them? Can you do that? Oh. Well, that makes things a little bit easier. So let's also throw down the militia, then. A crate with a Lurnian Hydra? Oh, Priscilla. <laughs> I told you, Thrombos can't compete. Come along. Pure sweet Priscilla. Hey, there we go. The rescued animal is joining the colony. <laughs> I love you, Priscilla. You are the best animal we've ever had. And Priscilla can launch acid breath, which I'm sure Von Helsing is very, very pleased to hear. <laughs> so for Ansylvania, the final thing I've done there is throw down the training yard just to try and get rid of some of the negative from that. It's got a militia level of two, which isn't really that good. I think that will reduce the penalties. If we actually try and defend them, that might be quite good. Let's go into, uh, let's go into you. There you go. We can get to minus 25 total profit. Then coagulation is only making 488 right now because they, well, they absolutely hate us. They've got 1% happiness. So I guess I'll build a stonemason. 20% higher mining, so it's just a 20% on top of our total profit. Can we do something to make them happy? Uh, the alchemist, or the, sorry, the apocryphal gives... Plus two happiness. Uh, we could go for a brewer. It's got 150 upkeep costs, but it's minus 5% food production as well. Not that we need to worry about that one. Um, or we double down and we go for a slave market. So I put the new expansion onto the mushroom farm. Turns out none of the mushrooms make enough light to be able to grow smoke leaf. So pretty much done for with that one. But the good news is the slave market in coagulation is bringing in a massive amount of profit. Now between that and Ansylvania, we're doing okay for profit. I've got them on mining right now over here because it's got a mining boost in that particular settlement. Won't well, last forever, but it means that our next tax is going to be pretty huge. I renamed all of these slaves to Patreon names as well because, well, I mean, because I couldn't think of anything more appropriate. <laughs> you belong to Anne now. Anne gets to decide your name. Only the most important research for this base. Okay, you know what? Uh, uh, that's great. Uh, I mean, blood compliment, absolutely on brand. I think until we at least get, you know, passive coolers, maybe I'll take back over on the research front. Oh, tunics. Actual clothes for our people. 
Lost can I? Good news. We can put a shirt on you now. I mean, no, we can't because we can't grow cotton, but we can think about putting a shirt on you. <laughs> the fucking cat has more clothes than some of our people. Ah, oh, we can grow even more mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll admit it. Half the research in this mod pack is just for mushrooms. That's what I was after. Settlement dirt road building. I mean, it's better than better than nothing. Our military isn't very good either. I think they got immediately clapped during their first battle. They're already down to 52% loyalty. Oh, God. Grand slave escape. Uh, a trussy and Aragon. I think we have very different definitions of grand slave escape. It's only two people. And... Sort him out. Okay, go get the other one quick as well. Go, run, 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 run. What? Oh, hang on. He's coming back to us. Trozzy. Trozzy, why did you do it, Trozzy? There will be punishments for insubordination. Ah, oh, poor Trozzy. Just got a right earful from Anne. She had to teach you this lesson because she loves you. And if they rebel again, it'll be the other ear. And then if they rebel again, I'll take their legs. Oh, and speaking of taking people's body parts, Buffy, my friend. Guess what it's time for. There we go. Will that Anne quickly go and get a snack from Aragon? No! You shit, dragon. He ate the shield cat. Oh, it turns out that bloody shield belt didn't help out at all, did it? My mushrooms. They're saved. I also thought I would try out these lawns in Anne's castle. I'm going to be honest with you. It looks, <laughs> it looks fucking terrible. <laughs> Come on, a smelter. Give me, give me something. Blood refinement. I mean, that's, that's cool, but it's not what we're after. We can make stone walls, autopsy. I just want to stab a man uh, in a video game, YouTube, if you're watching right now. But I'm talking about this video game. I, I want to get a vampire to st stab a man. Does that make it any better? What have we even got right now in the production tab? Like, nothing. We've got a workbench. We might be able to make a weapon out of that. Uh, Let's throw, as in, a weapon at the workbench, not hit someone with the friggin' workbench. Fungaponics Basin. A series of rotting logs fixed in place with holes for mycelium starters. Growing mushrooms doesn't require light or power-hungry watering systems. So if we get some wood and then some mycelial blocks, however we make that. Okay. And then we've got... For 10 steel ingots and 30 wood, we can turn mushrooms into wine. And then we've also got gardening boxes, which are essentially the same as the, uh, the tileable planter boxes we've got up here. Yeah, I mean, we can build... <laughs> we can build absolutely nothing right now. We haven't got nearly enough marble to finish my silly walls as well. So we could do something that I kind of threw by the wayside until we built a base, and that's our relic. So there's a tribal terminal that we could go and grab immediately. Then we've also got a spacecraft info hack, which I think is going to be really hard. We'll take both of them, but we'll deal with the space drone immediately. Uh, who's our best intellectual? I mean, I guess we could have Anne hack it, but I want Anne... Ideal, I want Anne to defend it. Let's get Aragon down here. Hey, run. 99% hacking speed. That's good enough. And then we'll have Anne stand there menacingly. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I thought they were genuinely going to walk right past then. Uh, well, look. We know what to do with this guy, right? We know exactly what to do with this guy. Kapow. And then you get out of here. Wait. Oh, he doesn't do it anymore. They're not pinging around. Did I possess the animal or the person before? I don't remember. It still counts as an enemy herd animal. They're just riding it as if it was a regular plain old animal then oh ah oh, there you go <laughs> of course you've got to draft him up and told eric there would be punishments for rebellion yeah isn't that just not that he could hear us say it oh no buffy's clothes are gone as well i'm sorry uh, if we get devil strand we could start a giant devil strand farm oh damn it we were like 27 points off. All right, come back over here. Hello. Oh, and so far away. Oh, God. How did she cover so much ground so fast? Right. Get out of here. Ping away. Uh, wait. Well, he's not pinging either. He's just attacking the pig. He's just kicking it out from under him. Weird. Okay. Uh, are you all right? <laughs> this seems a bit of a silly question. There we go. Thank you. Now you can go and get patched up. In fact, you know what, let's just patch you up here. There might not be time for that. And then the quest to the tribal village takes us into the dark forest. I don't think I've seen this biome before. I mean, if I didn't feel bad enough for the tribal nation as it is, that they're going to have to go deal with Anne stealing their information. She's going to turn up like that. Wow, look at this thing. Oh, crap, that's cool. Kind of wish we'd have started here, actually. Ah, hello there, my friends. We're here to come and take a look at your terminal. The old classic suicide acid breath combo. My god, that's a- What the fu- 
<laughs> it was firing acid so fast it couldn't stand still. That's so good. Terminal hacked. Well done. All right, let's get out of here then. Is that going to count as a, a, as abandoning someone if we leave the area without taking Trevor with us? Sorry, Trevor, you're not you're not coming with us. It's, there's no question. I am, however, going to take your clothes. Maybe that longbow we could use as well. I mean, steel throwing shards? Surely we don't need technology to throw a piece of metal at someone. <laughs> Sending me really mixed messages here. Oh, damn. Okay, that couldn't have come at a worse time. How long do you think it would take it to get back? Oh, it's not that many people. Five of them. One of them is a child on the back of a cougar, which is uh, extremely big brain. <laughs> what is she doing? Look at her go. That's incredible. Hello there, General Kenobi. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to understand it. I don't know what's going on anymore. Kill that cat. Oh, Trozzy was taken out almost immediately. Trozzy? Oh, this is a this is a complete mess. <laughs> nice work, nice work. Now all they've got to do is take out a yak and the person with the, the person with the spear is really laying it on hard. Fucking hell. Don't worry about the yak. Good lord, it's not hurting anyone. Nice, there we go, there we go, there we go. How is everybody doing? Well, thank you for finally joining us, Buffy. Von Helsing bleeding at nine hours. JT, JT, JT in four. Lost can I in five. Oh, they're okay. You know what? Everybody's actually going to be fine. Anne is probably going to have one or two questions when she comes back. Let's get you self-tending and then you can fix everybody. No, 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 without medicine. Then we'll fix everybody else up as fast as possible. How long until she's back? Oh, she's almost on the road. Second she hits the road, she's going to be here in no time. What the hell? Who... What? <laughs> Somebody got back up and got back on the yak. Get out of here. What the fuck? What is going on? Do you see that? He was juggling that yak. This is so, <laughs> this is so good. No, you people aren't supposed to be happy. Arrogant Awesome, will you marry me? Who is it? Oh, it's JT, JT, JT and Arrogant Awesome. Wow. The slave breeding program takes another step to success. What is Anne wearing? Anne? Oh my god. <laughs> Cut that out of the corner of my eye. That'll be the skull mask that we bought from the traders. Oh, it's tainted though. Not that she cares because she's got bloodlust. Now it increases her pain shock threshold, which I really don't like. So it means she'll keep fighting even if she's close to being killed. But the psychic sensitivity lowered when we're up against the Empire who have a bunch of psi powers and tribal nations who can spawn in with psi powers. That's okay. I'm all right with that. Eventually, we might want to try and get Anna a full set of gear that reduces psychic sensitivity to zero. Otherwise, the Empire might stand a chance of stopping her. And our settlements, uh, specifically coagulation, is affected by drugs. So I want to begin blinding Von Helsing pretty soon as well, given that Buffy is now maxed out. And we also need the Tenets of Blood, which is a big old sculpture. I guess we'll have to make that the art bench. Uh, assuming we can even build an art bench at this point. Oh, so even though the workbench is empty, the crafting spot has things that we can work with. So we've got the basic prosthetics that we researched. Bone armor and skull masks might not be a bad idea to get going straight away here. Vampire costume. Oh, but I don't want to replace her dress yet. Not until not until it's, it's basically to the breaking point. Backpacks are a great idea if we can make those with leather, which we can. Okay, so we can definitely churn out a few of those. At minimum, all of the slaves need one. So that's five of those. I'll set up a slave outfit as well in a second. We could make all of the slaves wear a bag on their head. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that a lot. Oh. Ah. Uh, blood moon. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. It is a blood moon. Whoa. Look at that. Uh, the question is, what does that mean? Is she happy about that? Uh. Missing tenets of blood. Uh. She doesn't actually care at all which is which is fine now everything is just very 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 red <laughs> just aggressively red right now okay that's fine von helsing is falling to a murder trade is gonna kill Anne. uh that's gonna be a no from me chief ah now going back to what i was talking about earlier devil strand in its current form is well useless to us to be honest you still need light to grow it for some reason even though it's a fungus. But regular Devil Strand research will eventually lead us to Dark Devil Strand. We could theoretically get it immediately afterwards. That will grow in the dark. And I was planning out an expansion to our mountain farms anyway, so that will work pretty damn well. So I'm going to move all of the ritual room down into here, and then up here we'll expand this bit out quite significantly, and we'll turn it into a throne room for Anne. Because right now, 
she has nothing, really. I mean, she has this castle, sure, but she doesn't have anything of her own. No room, no sanctum. I was kind of hoping we'd get the new ritual room set up before this, but we're going to have to have another mental diablery. So we can steal everybody's psychic energy and target it into one person. So... We want to give it, I guess at this point, to Von Helsing. So Anne will give a speech to unify the crowd. Everybody gives a psychic energy to Von Helsing. Oh, we can put another pew quickly for another 12.5%. There we go. That should make things a little bit better. 96%. I'll take it. Ah. Uh, it was only halfway through the bar and then it stopped. Okay, did it actually work though? No. Oh, can I get a refund on that? Maybe I had to target someone who was psychic. If you remember last time we did it on Truzzy, who is the praetor from the Empire, so he's already psychic. Hmm. Well, never mind. I guess we'll just carve our eyes out instead. That works a lot better. Ah, so calm and relaxing. What a lovely day. <laughs> I swear there was fear in her eyes then for a moment. We can really do with training Buffy up in social as well, so that she can give better rousing speeches in the future before we carve someone's face to bits. And... Are we... Are we good? She's carrying her away. We've never done that before. That's a new one. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Genuinely thought that wasn't going to end for a moment. Von Helsing has gained her first level of siling. And instead of getting urgent medical treatment for her eyes that have just been gouged out, she's having lunch. Uh, maybe we'll can patch her up quickly. Hey, no, 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 stand still, stand still. Oh, no. I don't like the sound of that at all. Giant spiders have arrived. Hello. Well, on the plus side, the wall that side is pretty much done. In fact, we've only got this little bit left to go, and then we have a, a pretty nice amount of defense there. I'm a little bit disappointed that we haven't had any colony children yet. The next generation of our, um volunteer workforce but it is also understandable given that we've only really just got a proper little base set up for them and i'm assuming they're all getting a little bit too old at this point oh yeah look uh starting from jt then 73 years old 51 41 69 nice aragon is also 69 they were quite old when we recruited the majority of them too okay this is a bit of a concern then let's start arranging them in age order we won't bother with the ghouls and the uh, and the vampires because they are essentially immortal. Got to be very careful, though, that, say, Von Helsing or Buffy don't live to a thousand, then they stop being a ghoul. Otherwise, I think they'll probably just turn to dust at that point. And we haven't had any meaningful bloody raids today either, so it's not even like we can top up our slaves. Oh, my God, we've got so much silver. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep up with it because, I mean, there's nothing we can do with it right now, right? All of our colonies are more or less fully upgraded. We can't do anything with them, so I guess we'll start upgrading the base game levels. I think we'll play relatively tall with empire build up one city really really significantly rather than spreading out thin as i normally tend to when the empire is our enemy and they have quite the military power i don't think we want to paint too large of a target on our back to be honest also why is Anne not leader when did that happen i wonder if when you reform an ideology it clears the roles weird buffy are you good just passed out drunk in church that's okay jesus christ i thought that was a raid then <laughs> <laughs> we could buy one of the behemoths, though. God, I hope so. That'd be so good for Anne. Gonna have a chat with them. Uh, they sell them. 4,000 each. Well, we've got to spend this money on something. They sell a clown suit as well. Not that we can wear it yet, but I'll buy it anyway. What is that thing? I didn't plant that. A tall brown mushroom with a long stem. When harvested, it yields a wood-like substance. You can grow those? Ah, uh, timber shroom. Absolutely, you cannot. Oh, it only grows in caves naturally. You can't grow it yourself. <laughs> Strongly disagree. Thank you, workshop. What on earth is this? Look at all those cargo pods. Bison wool. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off at school? He said... Well, I think Hanstown has a lot better. This is fantastic to say that we've gone from a horrible shed down here to... Having the the bare bones of a full city, not to mention Castle Land looking pretty good. We've got the start of a workshop. We've got a proper stockpile, quarry, everything we could possibly need. This area is where we're going to start growing fiber corn and I guess now timber shroom. And we have full on mushroom harvesting along with a... I, I mean, this is only going to be a temporary ideology room just with the altar and the, um, the reliquaries. Eventually, we will build a full on cathedral. I specifically left a kind of big gap over in these areas for that. Oh, and how could I forget? Of course, we have finally built Ansylvania as well, our little military force. 
the little military force that I will admit isn't particularly good, but it's okay. We've got an extra gap to upgrade it now too. But the final thing I want to do today is plant a Garanlan tree because I don't think they need light. I mean, that wasn't going to be what I was doing, but that could be incredible. Also, more to the point, why is Buffy got eyes? What? <laughs> Did she heal? I don't think they heal naturally over time or anything like that. Oh, God, she's really not happy, huh? We'll worry about Buffy's constantly regrowing eyes of the ground and see tomorrow. We need to work on this throne room. Now, we don't have a huge amount to choose from here. But trust me, I I'll make it look good. That's it. It's perfect. It's the best throne room I've ever seen. <laughs> I guess that is genuinely all we could do, huh? I could have built her a chair instead. We'll upgrade it from thinking stool to thinking chair. That is a throne room if I've ever seen one. Wow. Okay, but eventually we will be able to build a, a bone throne, which I think would be would be quite nice. We could even use the blood creep mod to see if we could build her a blood creep throne. Wow, that'd be quite appropriate. For today, though, progress has been fantastic. However, I do think it's worth mentioning that the storyteller has been a little bit disappointing. So we are currently playing on HP Lovecraft. And I think the issue with it is we don't have the cults mod, which is a kind of subsidy mod of this. And we don't have the cosmic horrors as well. I think as a result, it's bringing the whole thing down quite a lot to the extent that he's just a bit, I don't know, just a bit inconvenient more than anything else. So if you have any suggestions for either a new storyteller that is thematically appropriate, something Halloween-y, or you have any ideas on how to make HP Lovecraft be a bit more punishing, because right now it feels like the thing taking the beatings are our settlements and we're just kind of hanging around building a nice castle. Which is fine, don't get me wrong, but Anne needs to be challenged. She is a creature of the night that's supposed to be hunted by the Empire on a daily basis and they didn't even bother turning up today. And tomorrow, we'll also crank up the research. We're gonna go butt wild with that. I want to build a very, very nice looking medieval castle as the base thing that we do here. Just because with the own playthrough, we built a very basic settlement and expanded out from there. But we had big chunks of the base that were left abandoned. And whole new chunks of base that were built to uh, go along with the new era. But I feel like vampires would be a bit more stagnated. Stagnated? Stagnant. <laughs> I feel like they'd be a bit more stagnant. I feel like we should be molding the technology around the giant vampiric castle we have rather than trying to mold the base around the technology we have, like we did in the Ohm series. We'll go pretty hard on the medieval stuff tomorrow, I think, and we'll see if we can get this base set up looking real nice before we start diving into the actual warfare side of things. In the meantime, though, a big thank you goes out to DQ, Chax, Taco Cat, Zetlock, Comrade, Zandy Candy, Waffles and Whiskey, Snowdog TW, Alex Monk, Mercury, Evie Moon, Mert Skirt, The Link King, Alex, Nick Danger 13 Kyle, Cobalt, Kitsune, and... Zaka for their support the executive producer tiers over at patreon thank you all for your support over there a thank you as well to gaffy green king james yolgi infectious roger wilco yohano lanath prince monixis scott carl the other 18 covids pim mcfluffy the fluffiest of fluffies rommel dk mr hanky nightby and bilbo fraggins do not take me for a conjurer of cheap tricks <laughs>